My name is Gary Giganti. I'm the president and CEO of Wapaka Foundry. I've been with the company for 32 years now. Wapaka Foundry is a very large iron foundry here in the United States. We today employ close to 3,800 uh, employees. We have six plants. We have uh, actually three in Wapaka. We have one in Marinette, Wisconsin. We have one in southern Indiana, in Tell City, Indiana, and then a sixth plant in eastern Tennessee. Well, Packa Foundry does have the uh, largest casting market share globally. Uh, we produce one and a half million tons of iron every year. If Wapaka was a, a, a producing country, we would be the eighth largest producing country for iron castings on a global basis. We really serve uh, almost all of the casting market segments. Uh, we do about half our businesses in automotive, about 25% or so in commercial trucking uh, market. About 25% would be in what we call uh, the off-highway. If we look at, um, just for example, the um, market share that we would have on some products in the automotive sector, about 75% of all the brake discs and about 50% of all the brake calipers are produced in one of our plants. 100% of Toyota vehicles produced in North America have Wapaka uh, disc brakes or brake drums on them. Wapaka Foundry uh, does have a very active sustainability program. We are the largest recycler, for example, in, in the Midwest of, um, of metal type uh, waste products. Uh, we reuse um, uh, probably more than 70% of all of our sand on a regular basis and about 80% of, uh, of the water. We try to reuse uh, everything so that uh, uh, very little actually goes to, to the landfills. We volunteered for a federal program called Better Buildings, Better Plants, which is a program where we voluntarily um, opt in to reduce energy consumption by 25% over a 10 year period of time. Today what Packa Foundry is is really focusing on growth. Uh, we have uh, new ownership uh, as of uh, now one year and uh, they really um, are supporting our growth not only organically which we have uh, have done on a regular basis over the last 15 years but now uh, we're actually uh, really actively looking to have a global uh, footprint. We really didn't have that opportunity with the previous owners. And so now with the, the new ownership with KPS Capital Partners, uh, they support it uh, both in principle and also with some financial backing. And we didn't really have that before. So that's really exciting to the management team here.